All right, so I'm back out here. I'm working on my shop today. It's coming along pretty good. I've uh, I got to thinking while uh, I was cleaning it up, I, I found another piece of PVC today, and this was half inch. And I got to thinking back about something we used to do when we was kids, and. Uh, And I thought, boy, wouldn't it be neat with my tech all my technical knowledge that I've gained in the last, you know, 45 years to make one of them again and just see how good I could make it. And here's what I come up with. Uh, this is a blow gun. Uh, really, there ain't nothing to making the blow gun. What the trick is is on the darts. Now, as you can see, these are made out of a, a eight penny nail and just a cone of paper. And I've, I've tried it out a couple times. I don't know if you can see, let me let's see if I can turn this and maybe tilt it a little bit. Yeah, I got a box sitting out there in the in the bird bath, which coincidentally probably ought to get a little water in it if we're expecting to get any birds out here. And <coughs> since I made this blow gun, I'm really wanting some birds to come out here. Uh, so I'm gonna check my see how I'm doing at this range. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little black dot on that box I've got sitting in that bird bath. All right, that's a little low. Let me try it again. Hey, look at there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh. I'm getting close to getting in bird range now, but you know, since I gained some technical knowledge, I'm thinking maybe if I if I wound the paper that I make the cones out of for the for the dark, you know, since we're in the northern hemisphere, it might could make a difference if I wound it clockwise or if I wound the the cone counterclockwise. Because you know, up here our toilets flush, they turn one way, and then in the southern hemisphere when they flush, the water turns the other way. So I'm gonna check out my theory on accuracy a little bit and see if I can improve the accuracy of this blowgun a little bit. It's definitely got the power. I just I just wanted to uh get an idea of what I'm dealing with and then I'll experiment a little bit with the what direction I twist the cone. Uh you know, you might as well use Mother Nature since she's since she's always on the job. Any any help you can get, I uh, and I think I probably do better. I think we used to make these out of rigid electrical conduit when I was a kid. Uh, I think you'd have a little less flex and stuff if I used that, but it'd be heavier. So you have to compare convenience to just how accurate you want this thing, and. Uh, so I might try rigid instead of PVC. Speaking of PVC, I made a few improvements to my Native American flute. Uh, I found out that if it's a little out of tune, you all you gotta do is shape these holes a little different to make them a little flat or a little sharp and uh, kind of put me some Native American colors up here to hold the the, the fipple in. Did you know that thing on a flute is called a fipple? Uh, I didn't either, but you know, I try to learn something every day. And and I, I learned that, that thing there is called a fipple. And I know, I know you might be wondering how uh, how that could possibly make any difference that that thing's called a fipple, but listen to this. What you know what, well, someday if we got kidnapped by a mad flautist, you know that's what they call a flute player? It's a flautist. 
but what if we got kidnapped by a mad flautist? And he said, uh, I'll let you go if you tell me what that thing's called. And <laughs> see, we'd be, we'd be scot-free because you got a husband that takes the time to learn these things. See? That's it.